Hi, boys and girls. Today, we're going to explore South America. More water than land. Most of Earth is covered with water. The largest areas of water are called oceans. There are five oceans on Earth. From largest to smallest, they are the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian, the Southern, and the Arctic. The seven continents. There are seven continents on Earth. A continent is a huge area of land. The seven continents are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia, otherwise known as Oceania. Asia is the largest continent. Australia is the smallest continent. Discover South America. This book is about the continent of South America. There are 12 countries in South America. A country is a part of a continent. A country has borders and a government. Borders are lines where one country ends and another country begins. A government is a group of people who make decisions for the people who live in a country. 12 countries. The 12 countries in South America are Argentina, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, Guiana, Paraguay, Peru, Suriname, Uruguay, and Venezuela. French Guinea is in South America, but it is not a country. It is an overseas territory. An overseas territory is land that belongs to a country in another continent. French Guinea is an overseas territory of France. France is in the continent of Europe. Four directions. What are the four main directions on Earth? The four main directions are north, south, east, and west. If you visit the North Pole, you are at the most northern point on Earth. If you visit the South Pole, you are on the most southern point on Earth. In places near the North Pole and the South Pole, the weather is cold all year long. The Northern Part. The Northern Hemisphere is the part of Earth that is between the equator and the North Pole. The Southern Part. South America is in the Southern Hemisphere. The Southern Hemisphere is in the part of Earth that is between the equator and the South Pole. If you look at South America, boys and girls, it looks that there is only a small section in the Northern Hemisphere. The majority of South America is in the Southern Hemisphere. I would say that would be a fact that makes it unique. Remember, boys and girls, you're looking for at least five unique facts about South America. What is climate? Near the equator, the climate is always hot. Climate is made up of temperature, rainfall, and wind. It is the weather that, has, that an area has had for a long period of time. The equator passes through the top of South America. The areas of South America that are near the equator have hot climates. The areas of South America that are far away from the equator have cold climates. Right as rain. Some areas of South America receive more rain than other areas do. In some areas, it rains almost every day. In other areas, there is almost no rain. There are also areas of South America where it rains only during part of the year. The rest of the year is dry. The period with rain is called the rainy season. The dry season is, with a, is the period without rain. Mountains and islands. There are a lot of mountains in South America. Mountains are tall areas of land with steep sides. The Andes Mountains are in South America. They are along the western side of the continent. Ooh, 
there's something interesting. The Andes Mountains. We don't have those in any other continents. I'm going to add that as one of my facts. Interesting islands. There are islands in South America. Islands are areas of land surrounded by water. The Galapagos Islands are a group of islands in South America. They are part of Ecuador. The Galapagos Islands are surrounded by the Pacific Ocean. Animals such as birds, sea lions, and iguanas live on these islands and in the ocean waters around the islands. Areas of water. South America is between two oceans. The Atlantic Ocean is along the east coast of South America, and the Pacific Ocean is along the west coast of South America. Hmm, that's the same as it is in North America. A coast is land that is next to an ocean or a sea. A sea is an area of ocean water with land around it. The northern coast is along the sea called the Caribbean Sea. The Amazon River. The second longest river on earth is in South America. This river is called the Amazon River. The Amazon River flows through Peru and Brazil. Over 1,000 tributaries run into it. A tributary is a stream or a small river that flows into a larger river. Tropical rainforests. There are tropical rainforests in South America. Tropical rainforests are forests with many tall trees. They grow only in areas that are hot and rainy. Tropical rainforests receive at least 100 inches of rain each year. Wow. The Amazon rainforest, the largest tropical rainforest in South America, is called the Amazon rainforest. This rainforest is the largest tropical rainforest in the world. Another unique fact. Tree time. Many kinds of animals live in tropical rainforests. Three-toed sloths live in the trees. Many species of bats, birds, and monkeys also live high above the ground. They find food in the trees. Grassy areas. Grasslands are large areas of land that are mainly flat. Many types of grasses grow on grasslands. Some shrubs and a few kinds of trees also grow on grasslands. One large South American grassland is called the Pampas. The Pampas are in Argentina and Uruguay. Hundreds of animals live in the Pampas. Greater rears, manned wolves, and guancos are just a few of the animals that live on these grasslands. Dry deserts. There are deserts in South America. Deserts are dry, hot places. Very little rain falls in deserts each year. The Atacama Desert is a large desert in South America. It is more than 600 miles long. That is a huge desert, boys and girls. And if you look where it's located, it's located right beside the mountains that cover um, the west coast of South America called the Andes Mountains. Desert animals. Very few animals live in the Atacama Desert because it is so dry. Animals need water to stay alive. A few types of birds, lizards, and insects live in these parts of the deserts. Foxes also live in the Atacama Desert. Desert life. More than one million people live in the Atacama Desert. Many people live in villages and towns. Some people are miners. Miners dig huge holes in the ground and remove minerals. Remember what minerals are? I know Mrs. Fasig taught you about minerals in science. Coal and copper are two kinds of minerals found in the ground. Cities and towns. 
more than 300 million people live in South America. Most of the people live in cities and towns. South American cities are busy, bustling places. They have many buildings. These colorful homes are in a city called Buenos Aires in the country of Argentina. Many cities in South America are near the Atlantic Ocean or the Pacific Ocean. There are beaches in these cities. Rio de Janeiro has beautiful sandy beaches. Rio, Rio de Janeiro is the second largest city in Brazil. Over 6 million people visit there. No, I'm sorry, boys and girls, more than 6 million people live there. People from all over the world visit Rio de Janeiro to see its beaches and mountains and to enjoy warm weather. Village life. Many people in South America live in rural areas outside a busy city of town. They live in villages. Not all the villages are on land. The village in this picture is on a lake called Lake Titicaca. It is built on a floating island. That's way cool. The people who live there are called the Euros. The Euros made the island by hand from dried reeds, which they tied together. They also made their homes, boats, and furniture from dried reeds. Growing food. Many people who live in rural areas grow fruits and vegetables for their families to eat. They grow fruits and vegetables in gardens or on farms. Some people sell any extra food in outdoor markets, such as the one shown above. People also raise animals, such as cows, so their families have meat to eat. Resources in nature. Natural resources are materials found in nature that can be sold to make money. South America has many natural resources. Oil, coal, and trees are some of South Americans' natural resources. Beef, bananas, corn, and sugarcane are other natural resources found in South America. Fast fact, cocoa, coffee, and many kinds of nuts are grown in South America. These resources are sold around the world. Metals and gems. Gold and silver are other natural resources found in South America. Gold and silver are types of metals. Diamonds and emeralds also come from South America. Diamonds and emeralds are gems. People can sell these natural resources for a lot of money. South American culture. Culture is the beliefs, customs, and ways of life that a group of people share. People create art, music, and dances to express or show their cultures. Sports and games are also part of people's cultures. These pages show some of the ways in which South American people express their cultures. Playing football. Soccer is the most popular sport in South America. Children and adults in every South American country play soccer. In South America, soccer is called football or football. Carnival. Carnival is a joyful celebration that takes place each year in February. Carnival includes noisy street parades, colorful costumes, music, food, singing, and dancing. People in South America celebrate Carnival for several days. Postcards from South America. There are many beautiful and interesting places in South America. People from all over the world visit these places for fun. People who visit places for fun are called tourists. These pages show some of the most spectacular sights in South America. Beautiful, aren't they? All right, boys and girls, that is the end of our story today. If you want to go back and revisit anything that you found to be interesting, here are the pages that they are on in the index. And any words you are not sure of, they're right up top here in our glossary. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our story about South America and you grabbed those facts 
that you found that made South America unique.